Hello everyone, this is Ryan Coleman and with me today is Ben Ray. Uh, today we're going to be discussing the annotation widget and the release that's coming out here in a, in a couple days. Uh, we're really excited about the, uh, the annotation widget. It's been a request for quite some time and uh, we're really excited to see what you're able to do with it once it gets in your hands. Um, so uh, Ben, I, I want to just go through a couple things. I mean, this has been a request from pretty much every type of industry, but I mean, what are some of the you know, very specific uh, industries or use cases that you, you really see the annotation widget you know, making a big impact? So some of the largest that we've seen have been uh, these types of inspections. I mean, really runs the, the gannet there from anywhere from these engineering groups, healthcare, and a lot of car service groups too. So, I mean, there's a, a lot of use there. I mean, it mostly has been in the inspection field from what we've seen. And I, from what I understand, it's, it's one thing for you to be able to mark up a uh, mark up a photo. It's, an, it's a whole nother when you really see what the, uh, the features are that, that you're able to do. But before you jump into the actual, you know, showing the demo, what are some of the features that you're, you're able to do? With right. So some of the some of the great things you can do with it are actually take a photograph and then annotate on top of that. So I mean, you can add in your own photos too. So you take one photograph, use it as a background image, take additional photographs, and actually drop those on top of that current photograph. So there is is a lot of functionality there, as well as doing different lines, polygons, all sorts of different shapes on top of this, and and marking that up, and then pairing that with the the other types of inspection features in the iPhone app itself. No, that's great. You know what? I think right now would be best if we jump in and, and, and just show what's happening on the uh, on the device. So on my screen here, you'll see I have a, a test form here. It has the annotation widget and our email field. So I'm going to open up the annotation widget. And here's what it looks like to start. You just get a blank screen. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually take a photograph of something. So I just pulled up my camera here by clicking the bottom right option. And I'm going to take a photo. Actually, I'll, I'll take a photo of outside here. Um, so I take a photo of the wall, I select use photo, use it as a background image, and then from here what I can do is I can actually draw upon this. So I'm actually going to click this pencil option here and make the size a little smaller. And I'm actually going to circle two of the infractions that I see on this wall. So right here is going to be infraction one, and right here is going to be infraction two. And then from here, we can actually change this. So I want to actually do some straight lines. I want to do some the width of this window so I know what size glass I need to replace. So you'll see I click the uh, this bottom button down here and click the line. And then upon here, we can actually go into the text and we can enter whatever we'd like here. So I'm going to say this is 25 inches. And I'm going to up the size here to 30-point font. And I'm actually going to change the, the text as well. Something heavy italics we can see a little better here. So I hit done, I can actually move this around as needed. So that's just some of the, the simple features you see there as well. And actually one other thing I wanted to show quickly is um, can actually add in these sorts of symbols here. So I'm going to have a point here. This is our, our top infraction. So we're just going to have a big red arrow pointing to that. I hit done. Then you'll see that that image is marked up and ready to go, just similar to taking a photograph. So if I hit done, I'm going to submit this record. It's going to go up to the server. I'm just going to show you one other example of how you can use an image from your photo library and then mark that up. So let's open up the annotation widget again. And inside of here, I'm actually going to choose this option down here at the bottom left. And I want to choose from my, my photo roll. So in this case, we're actually doing performing an, an apartment inspection here. And it's actually going to be a layout plan. So I'm going to select Use Background Image. And here is this apartment layout plan. You see it already has some things marked up, but we want to mark up additional information upon this. So I'm actually going to take a picture of outside of the bathroom just so you can see what, what your view would look like in this case. So I took a photo of outside, hit use photo. I'm going to use this as the floating image instead. So if I make this a tad smaller, then you'll see I'm going to actually place this here and actually draw an arrow that says this here is your view outside of, outside of the bathroom. So arrow, that's saying that's pointing to the bathroom. Now, if we want to do some additional marks, markups on this as well, we can go back again and do the line feature like I was, I was showing before. I'm just going to change the size down a little smaller, and I'm going to mark up this, this hallway here. And again, we're going to say this is three feet. Hit done. And we're actually going to move this here just so we can add, add more details in there. Now as well, and this up here is the, the bedroom, so I'm going to just say let's, let's put the, the bed in one place and let's put the dresser in another place. So I'm actually going to go back, go right to my regular pencil icon, and then start drawing in the bed here, 
and then I'm going to draw an addresser here on this side. So that's just some of the, the other functionality you can, you can add into this here. And we can also add nice big details at the top if you want to, too. So we'll say this is apartment one layout plan. Hit done. And then this can be our details at the top of this image. So if I hit done, what it's going to do, and I hit done again, it's going to submit to the server. And we're actually going to be able to view this data right on the back end so I can just show you how, how it looks when it will come through as a report. So if I go into the Manage tab, I'm actually going to see all the details I've collected about this. So you'll see I've captured a few more records before this. I'm actually going to open up this one individual record. We'll see this is how it will look on the report. And if we want to view some more detailed information about this, we just tap on this, and it loads the image that I took and all the annotations that, that I have on top of it. Again, we're going to open up this other one here, and we'll see the, the annotation that I did to this Apartment 1 layout plan. So these are just some of the features of the annotation widget, and I hope this really sparks sparks your guys' minds on really what is possible with it. As you can see, there is a lot of functionality, and it's going to be constantly improving. Yeah. So Ben, I, I think this is a, I mean, a great overview in terms of uh, what's here. Um, I want to challenge all of you that are, are watching this video. Uh, let us know how you're using this, what your use case is, and uh, you know, this is version 1.0. What is it that you're looking to? Uh, to see to really improve this type of widget or this type of functionality. Um, so with that, Ben, thanks so much for uh, this very high level, but quick overview. Really excited to release this next Friday and um, hope everybody uh, appreciates, it, appreciates it as much as we do. Uh, thanks so much.